In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a short animation with a single click. Start with an idea, and the automation will do the rest. It generates image prompts, creates corresponding voiceover text for each image or scene, and produces a small animation from each image. It then generates the voiceover based on your text, seamlessly merges all scenes into a single video, saves the video to both Airtable and Google Drive for later use, and finally auto-submits the finished video to your YouTube channel. If you want this workflow, please visit my school community at Automation Tribe and go to the classroom where you'll find the automation. Next, open N8N, create a new workflow, click on the three dots, and choose Select from File. When the automation appears on your screen, all you need to do is create credentials for each service you use in the classroom. You'll also find a link to an Airtable base. Click this link and copy the base into our Airtable account. Alternatively, continue with the tutorial to see exactly how I set up the table. Let me explain you the table. The first column is for your video title or idea. Set this column as long text. On the right, add a status column. Choose the single select type with two values, start and done. Next, create a number of scenes column. Again, use single select. I've set it with values from 4 to 12, but you can adjust these as needed. If you add too many scenes, your short video will not fall into the shorts category and it will be posted as a long video. Please take care how many you add here. Then add a style column. Here you can list the different styles for the image generation model. The examples are on your screen and you can change them at any time. Create a voice column. This should be a single line of text. I've preset it with a man's voice. Feel free to visit JSON2 video to choose any voice and enter your preferred option. Then create the image model column, also single select, with two options, Flux Pro and FreePick Classic. In my experience, Flux Pro delivers superior images but uses more credits from your JSON2 video account. So please check the website for details. To set the duration of each scene, Add a seconds per scene column as single select and input the desired scene length. Maximum is 10 seconds. Next, add a video title column, type will be long text, where we will store the video title for YouTube. Follow this with a video description column for your YouTube description. Then, create a keywords column, the same it will be long text, where we will store the generated keywords. After that, add the final video column as an attachment to save your completed video. Finally, create the video URL column as a URL type, where you will include the link to the final video. Now, we have to go back into N8N to continue. Once again, please note that you can download the entire workflow and gain full access to all of my automations from our school community. By subscribing, you not only access all current and future workflows, but you also support me in creating more innovative automations. Alternatively, Feel free to continue following the tutorial to see how I build the workflow step by step. Let's begin the automation by adding a node when clicking Test Workflow. This will trigger the automation once you've entered your ID in Airtable. Simply click the Test Workflow button to start the process. Next, we'll use an Airtable node. Here's what you need to do set up your credentials. I won't cover these steps in detail because they're common procedures that most users are already familiar with and I don't want to bog you down with repetitive information. Set the resource to record and the operation to search. Then select your base. In my case, it's N8N Video Shorts. After that, choose the table. Make sure the return all option is checked so that we retrieve every record. Now move on to the switch node. In Airtable, we set up a column called status with two options, start and done. This node checks the status. If it's set to start and you click Test Workflow, the automation runs to completion. If it's done, the automation halts to prevent creating duplicate videos and using extra credits. Next is the AI Agent node. Select Define below in the Source for Prompts section because a special prompt is required. Enable the Require Specific Output Format option. In the system message, you'll see a prompt. Please pause the video and copy it, or feel free to craft your own. I update these prompts periodically, so if you're not in our school community, I recommend testing various prompts to find what works best for you. For this AI agent, choose a LLM model. 
I'm using OpenAI's GPT-4 Mini. If you prefer a different model, visit the OpenAI website to explore options and insert your chosen model's ID. Then, attach a structured output parser node. This step is very important as it formats the data in a specific structure. Please pause the video and copy the structured data setup as I demonstrate. Next, add the Google Drive node. This node is essential for storing the videos generated later. You might even need it for other projects. Select your credentials to connect, set the resource as folder, and choose the create operation. I'll set the folder name by taking the variable from Airtable. For the parent drive, select your drive, and for the parent folder, choose the folder I previously created called N8N Shorts Video. Later in the tutorial, we'll store all the videos in this folder. After that, add the Edit Fields node. Here, pass the values from our AI agent. It's very important to click on Settings and Enable Always Output Data. We need the data structured in JSON format to ensure it's formatted correctly for the next node. Next, add an HTTP Request node. Change the method to Post and enter the specified URL. For authentication, leave it as None and ensure that Send Headers is enabled. Then, under the header settings, choose Use Fields Below. Add a header with the name XAPI Key and enter your API key from the JSON2 video website. Remember, a paid account or added credits are required to avoid watermarks on your videos. Next, set the body content type to JSON. Under the specified body section, select JSON and pass the JSON generated by the AI agent. Following this node, add a wait node. This pause allows time for the software to create the video. I've set the wait time to 90 seconds, but if you have more scenes, consider increasing this value. The JSON2 video website provides render logs that indicate the required render time. Once you've created a few videos and defined your video structure, you can adjust the wait time as needed. After the wait, add another HTTP request node. This time, change the method to get and modify the URL accordingly. Enable Send Query Parameters and specify a query parameter where the name is Project and the value is JSON Project. Again, enable Send Headers and use the same header name and value as before. Additionally, enable Follow Redirects and set the maximum redirects to 21. Next, add another AI Agent node to generate your video title, description, and keywords. Please pause the video now to copy the provided prompt or create your own. Make sure you enable the require specific output format option since, as before, an output parser will format the data in a special structure. Please pause the video and copy my code. Then, insert an Airtable Update Records node. As with previous Airtable nodes, set the base and table. Then, update the record by setting the status to done. Also, update the video title, video description, and keywords fields with data from the previous module. For the final video field, use the code displayed on the screen. Now, prepare to upload the video directly to YouTube. Add another HTTP request node. Set the method to get. And in the URL field, use the video URL from Airtable. Next, add the YouTube upload video node. Connect your YouTube account and configure the title using text from Airtable. Along with your origin code, and the category name or ID. You will also need to create options for the description and tags and set the privacy status. I recommend setting it to private initially to avoid automatic publication. Finally, add the YouTube Get Video node. This node extracts the video ID. In the next step, add another Airtable node to update the record with the video URL in the video URL column. This completes the automation setup for video creation and upload. To create a video, start by finding a great idea and selecting a promising niche. That's the secret. In Airtable, simply create a new row and add your idea. For example, I used Pig Saves Kittens Stuck in a Tree. Next, head over to N8N and click the Test Workflow button. The automation will run for about two minutes before your video appears. I won't run it right now as I don't want you to wait for two to three minutes. Check out my previous examples to see the results and notice the difference between voices. Remember, you can experiment with different niches and tweak your AI agent prompt for even more impressive results.
In a quiet corner of the old house, a tiny mouse watches with big curious eyes. Meanwhile, a sleek cat lounges nearby, its gaze half-closed yet ever watchful. Suddenly, a paw reaches out, hovering ominously over the oblivious mouse. But instead of harm, the cat nudges the mouse away from a hidden danger. Once upon a time, in a sunny meadow, a little pig spotted a kitten stuck in a tree. Determined to help, the brave pig scrambled up the tree with all its might. Carefully, the pig cradled the frightened kitten and began to descend. At last, they were safe and the pig and kitten became the best of friends. That's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this automation walkthrough and want more innovative automations like this, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to join our school community to get full access to all my automations, including this one, along with exclusive content and updates. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video.